in today's video i'm going to be telling you few things you should never do to your pregnant rabbit so without wasting much time you're welcome back to my youtube channel if this is your first time coming across my channel do well to subscribe turn on the bell notification if you are yet to do that and also like this video so that youtube will show this video to more people so things you should never do to your pregnant rabbit things pregnant rabbits hate yes first of all one of the major things you should never try doing to your pregnant rabbit is always carrying her around changing her cages from here to here from here to here you should not try to do that because you're actually disturbing her pregnancy normally you know rabbits used to pick territories in their cages yes they do pick territories in their cages like a particular a rabbit can say this particular stop, spot is where i used to lie down that's why you you'll notice if you put two male rabbits together in one cage, they are always fighting because they are always struggling for space yes so pregnant rabbits also do struggle for territory so if you change them from this particular cage to this particular cage before they will get to adapt to this one it might actually take some few time that's why you see sometimes if you do buy a pregnant a rabbit that is pregnant that is almost due to uh, kindling when it comes to give birth it does not give birth in the nesting box because it's not used to this particular area so i'll just advise you leave her in one place and once you cross her make sure this way you want to put her then you put her in there and she should be there constantly the second thing i would advise you to do is actually trying to palpate your pregnant female when it's more than 14 days yes palpating should be done within day one to day 14. when once it passes 14 to 16 days palpating should not be done again because you can actually cause um that rabbit miscarriage yes if you try to palpate the kids when they have already overgrown the stage of palpating it might actually cause them to have miscarriage it might actually cause the mothers to have miscarriage so you don't want to try that yes you don't want to try to palpate them when it's past it that surpasses 16 days if you want to palpate from day one from the 10th to day 14 your palpating should be done and you should be sure if this rabbit is already pregnant yes the next thing i'm going to be talking about is don't try giving your pregnant rabbit any antibiotics whether organic or normal medi uh, normal drugs that contains any antibiotics because it can actually cause death in those kids yes you may actually kill those kids in there and the mother like the the system will just break it down and the body will absorb it in there yes even if you don't see them uh, uh, littering the kids as stillborns like as dead kids even if you don't see them littering them as dead kids they might actually die inside there and the body will break them down and absorb yes yeah, so you don't need to try to give any of your pregnant rabbits any antibiotics i just prefer you not medicating any of your pregnant rabbit there's no need to medicate them don't medicate any rabbit that is pregnant when she gives birth medication can be done so that is another thing i'm also going to be talking about the next thing i'm also going to be talking about is don't keep your pregnant rabbit hungry don't let her be hungry yes don't develop the habit of feeding your pregnant rabbit constantly twice a day or three times a day develop that habit is very very important because if you don't feed them twice or three times a day if they get hungry the body might actually break out break down some few kids in there and they absorb it as food content take it into their body the rabbit might conceive 10 kids like your rabbit might take in 10 kids get pregnant to 10 kids and if you don't feed them well, some of those kids will do break down and you just notice the rabbit turn out to give birth to five because of poor feeding. Yes, yeah, so every pregnant rabbit should be fed very, very well and also give, given a lot of water. Yes, yeah, also given a lot of water is very, very important. The next thing I'm going to be talking about also is that don't try to mate a rabbit that is also pregnant. A rabbit that you know is pregnant please don't try to meet it even if you are not sure of the pregnancy i will just advise you wait till one month if you can't palpate you wait till one month and if it does not litter then you can take it back to the male don't try to make a rabbit that is already pregnant again because it may actually cause them miscarriage it may actually cause them miscarriage if you try to meet a rabbit that is already pregnant ah it may actually cause them miscarriage please if you are still watching this video do like more to come if you are yet to subscribe to my youtube channel at the Ghana pool will say hey Charlie, what have i done pa subscribe to this channel you are learning a lot so do well to subscribe so the next thing i'm going to be talking about also if when once you meet a rabbit when once you meet a rabbit that this you have you are sure that 
this rabbit have been mated successfully i will just advise you separate those the kids from them yes you separate the kids like if she was with her old kids you are supposed to have win them they're not supposed to be with her unless you are going into intensive breeding yes that's the only uh, time they're supposed to be with her so if you are um mating any rabbit make sure the kids are not there with her because it can actually cause harm to the ones in there yes she might if um i will also be explaining intensive breeding to you guys on another video so there is a lot there is a lot to learn here so if any rabbit you have already mated do well to separate those kids let those kids don't be with her anymore separate those kids from her then you can meet her then she can be on her own yes so i hope i'll try to explain some few things for you guys if you do find this video helpful please do well to give me a thumbs up that will really help this channel grow faster give me a thumbs up and also subscribe if you are here to subscribe as i earlier said if you are here to subscribe what have i done to you charlie subscribe pa, as the ghana people will say so do well subscribe like turn on the notification bell and once again, until next time, do have a nice day and peace out.